Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Welcome to Zach's Top Stock Picks of the Week. I'm Tracy Brynick, and I'm joined this week by Jeremy Mullen, and we're bringing you two top retailers. Yes, the retail area is hot again. Mine is an apparel retailer, and his is not. So his is a little more intriguing, but they're both Zach's number one strong buys. Let's dive right into what mine is. I brought Gap, ticker GPS, because apparel is gonna boom on the reopen and Gap has the strong brands. It's got Banana Republic, obviously the Gap, Old Navy, and it's new shining star of the last few years, Athleta. So it's got the broad uh, you know, brands, but some of them definitely struggled during the pandemic, including Banana Republic. But that's the area I'm expecting to see a big rebound now that people are going back out into the world and back out into the office. Let's take a look and see what the earnings are actually looking like and why this is a Zach's number one rank stock. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at is what is happening with the analyst estimates. So you can see right here that one of them has been raising in the last 30 days, even though they don't report earnings until the end of August. So they're starting to get a little bit more bullish here. But you can see they've been bullish since their last earnings report. So 90 days ago, they were at 132 for the full year. And now we're seeing um, you know, quite a nice gain up to 178 there with that last earnings estimate revision pushing it up higher. Now, because last year was a complete disaster with the pandemic, they lost $2.11. So we're seeing the big rebound here in uh, 2021, expecting to see a lot of it happen in the holiday season. So that is fast approaching, but we are getting back to school right now. So it'll be interesting to see what they report on the back to school surge, which everybody's expecting to be very strong. I mean, imagine if you didn't go to school at all last year or only partially, you're pretty excited to go back and you wanna get new clothes. Same thing with adults, those who weren't going to their offices or their place of work and now are maybe going to be returning this fall are getting pretty excited about going back to that too. So that's reflected in the earnings here. And you can also see it in the chart. Uh, this is the price to consensus chart and you can see the huge drop off right here last year. And we've got the nice gain here in 2021, but the analysts are still a little bullish about 2022. That's looking quite forward into the future. If they can get, get Banana Republic kind of moving again, that's their flagship most expensive brand. That could give a boost, but also keep an eye on Athleta. That's their athleisure line that you know challenges Lululemon, frankly, in the popularity. Uh, for consumers' money. So Athleta, I was just in one and um, here in Chicago, and it was very busy, you know, people looking, people buying, and I'm expecting good report out of that particular brand along with Old Navy. And now let's look at that earning surprise. So they put together two huge beats, whoops, the last two quarters, and you can see it right there. It's like a to 2,500% surprise. So the analysts were way off last quarter. Uh, shares have rallied here big off those coronavirus lows. So over even just the last year, they're still up 106%, but they have pulled back in the last three months down 18%, maybe as this latest coronavirus outbreak has put a little bit of damper on the back to work issues. And so uh, maybe some people getting a little pessimistic that they were too bullish maybe on the, the uh, initial start of the recovery. But that recovery is still going to take place, even if there, it's just set back a little bit here in the fall. We're still going to be getting it. So I like these shares here. They're trading at 16 times, not super expensive, with a dividend yielding 1.7%. So if you're looking for an apparel retailer, that is still pretty cheap, but that has some strong brands that are really competing out there in the marketplace, then the gap is one to keep on your list. 
Now I'm going to throw it over to Jeremy, and he has another retailer that's also a Zach's number one strong buy, and he's going to fill you in on how that too is a recovery winner. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeremy Mullen here today for our Top Stock Pick segment. Today, I will be doing the Container Store, ticker symbol TCS. The Container Store is Zach's number one strong buy that operates as a specialty retailer of storage and organization products. The company was founded in 1978 and now operates in two segments, Container Store and Alpha. TCS is headquartered in Capel, Texas and employs over 2,200 people. The company provides over 11,000 products designed to help organize their homes, closets, office spaces, and garages. Obviously, during the height of, the, of COVID, these kinds of products were high in demand, but the company still continues to see results. The stock recently caught my eye for two reasons. First, I just moved to a new house and my wife went to the container store looking for some organizational help. She came back with a lot of stuff and I have to say her purchases really brought things together quickly. But more importantly, the company had earnings last week and blew away expectations. So let's get into those numbers. TCS reported last Tuesday seeing a 300% EPS beat above expectations. This was the fifth straight earnings beat and the seventh over the last eight quarters. Q1 EPS came in at 35 cents versus the negative 34 cents last year. Revenues for the quarter were $245.3 million above the $157 or $151.7 million from last year. Consolidated sales for the company were up 61.7% and gross margins were up 59.6% year over year. Quarter brought records, quarter brought record setting first quarter net sales results, a number that management sees as the early stages to their goal of $2 billion in net sales. Now let's tie these numbers into some fundamentals. The container store is now valued at $550 million and has a forward PE of eight. So we, here we have like a low market cap stock that is a value play. In fact, the stock holds a Zach style score of A in value as well as momentum. However, the stock is seeing a growth side as the main issue where it scores a D in growth. The recent quarter has caused analysts to take numbers higher. Over the last seven days, earnings estimates for the current year have gone 34% higher from $1 to $1.34. For next year, we've seen estimates moving 39% higher. Now let's look at that chart. Okay, here's the chart pretty much from the beginning of the year. We see it took off for the first three months and then we came back down almost 50% from those highs. So what happened here is we had a nice little core that pushed things higher and then uh, the market started to come in and while the market rallied, uh, container store kept um, dropping to the 200 day moving average. A little bit of rally, drop back, and then we finally broke the 200 day and it was kind of a free fall back to this support area over here. So what we have is we have this great quarter again. It was sold initially, but we see some buying interest that's and it's back above the $11 mark, which is above the 21 day moving average. And what the bulls really need is a push above this blue line, which is the 50 day. You can see there's been resistance the last couple of times it's come up to it. We need to push above 12. And then the next challenge would be this 200 day moving average if we get above there the bulls have full control and let's look at let's zoom out a bit and see where we can go so i have a fib drawn from the lows back in april you can see this got down under two dollars a share and we rallied all the way almost up to 20. so the stock came in halfway back and that's what we like to see some uh support at the halfway back level or the 61.8 couldn't quite get down to the 61.8 so now we're starting to rally and you would think over that 200 day, we can get going and possibly long-term targets up here at 23. How does this happen? Well, the company is going to have to have another good quarter like they had and perhaps meet that 2 billion net sales goal. But overall, the chart looks okay. If we can get back over 13, the fundamentals are lining up and it's looking pretty good for TCS. That's it for me and my top stock pick. Go to zax.com promo where you can get Zach's Ultimate for 30 days for $1. Have a great day.